We're back! <laughs> Yo, what's up? John, do my intro. Do it. Oh, what's up, everybody? I forget how you start off your videos. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up, everybody? My name is Mr. Bobbly, and welcome back to Captain Toad. Or I usually say I'm Mr. Bobbly. I don't usually say what my name is. <laughs> what? My nope, name don't is wanna do what? This. Wait, my no, I don't. Name is... This is just a one-up. Fuck, yeah. I could've just skipped it. Whatever. Give it to me. <laughs> Why it's all kind of messed up right now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> just, just, just a tad. Oh, man. Anyways. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh... We're talking about some stupid shit. We were talking about rub rabbits. And how it's like, does not sound like an actual, like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Game. How it sounds like some stupid shit. Yeah. But the weirdest feature of the whole entire game is there's a thing that you could do where, like, you I think you unlock it after you, like, beat the game. Then, because it's the same story. It's like, you're this, like, shadow guy, and you're going after this, like, shadow girl. And, like, you do all these things to, like, impress her, and that's basically what all the mini games to do and everything are all about. Yeah. Well, then, like, when you get to the very end, you do this whole thing. Then you have this thing where, like, you're able to, like, put your, like, I think it's your birthday and stuff in. I can't remember 100% sure. But you, like, put your information in, and then you get some girl to put her information in. And then you guys get this, like, this, like, weird baby thing. And it tells you, like, if it's... It, it's really weird. It's, like, a compatibility thing. So, so it's, it's like, this thing where you would put your birthday in, and then put the crush of the girl or boy you like in. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then it tells you, like, how compatible you are or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and then and if then, you're, like, a middle schooler... <laughs> Preteen, whatever you'd be really depressed when it doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I was in high school obviously when the game came out, um, and it was uh, it was funny. Run, I run, to, Toad, run! I used to play in my photography class all the time in the dark room when I was supposed to actually be doing work. But oh, that's weird. Oh god, what is this? I used to take naps in photography class too. But the thing though is, is honestly, I love photography enough that I never really, I guess, considered it like. A struggle to like do so it's like I would yeah you were, I you were interested in it so you actually like at least somewhat enjoyed well I mean I, I, I enjoyed it but the other thing though too is like I was good enough at photography that's like I could like we had to take so many like oh yeah you could just like completely not yeah give a shit about but it that was fine. the thing is like because it was all done in black and white and you had to use you know camera whatever I had borrowed my uncle's camera his old like Nikon camera like that and the same thing was just like, you took all these different pictures and all this other stuff, and if you ran out of like film, you had to buy a new roll of like film or whatever. But like, you had to buy it through the school or whatever to like, for whatever stupid reason. But it was like yeah. four or five bucks for a roll of film or something stupid, or three bucks. It was like really dirt cheap, obviously, because it was just, you know, black and white film. Oh my god! Holy crap, that was awesome, <laughs> by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Um, really proud of myself on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'd be too. I'd just, I'd be like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, but you had to have so many photos throughout the thing and like take so many. But I did like, I hate to say the bare minimum because it's like, I didn't just go around and be like, oh, take this picture, take this picture, take this picture. Because I knew kind of how to work a Look camera. Look on Luigi's Mansion, by the way. Oh, I never wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, why well, tell you so I'm going to eat a cookie? Um, well, don't talk to me. Yeah, okay. Don't talk, just, just pure silence. Well, it's totally fine. Yeah, I know. Just, just don't talk. Don't be an asshole about it. But, uh, so I knew kind of like what to do with what it was. So it's like I basically like could go half of the semester, like half of the semester of the marking period with basically only doing one roll of film. So it's like once all those things are developed, I basically developed all the negatives I needed to and only made the prints of what I needed. And then, same thing as I'd use multiple prints but then like do the photoshop everything else i needed to to do any manipulation i needed to to for different projects so i basically didn't have to m take a ton of photos so yeah i'd go in it was my first class in the morning because we had the 8 a b day stuff which i don't know if you had uh, if you ever had that um, but it's just like my school kind of in instead of like having seven period days you had uh you had four period days and like it was a rotating schedule, so it's like you had your four periods on your one day, on your A day, then you had four periods on your B day, and they were different classes. But uh, it was like on my A day, so I'd go in and basically just be able to just like chill out, and like not do anything. 
So I'd like go in. It was first class in the morning at like seven seven thirty in the morning. Chat, chat. I would just go in and just fucked up. Yeah, you did. And I would just go in and like sleep in the dark room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, mind. This one's actually a lot better. It was fun though. Uh, Mr. Greenberg was the teacher. He's my favorite teacher ever. I like how they let you down gently. <laughs> I know, right? I'm so kind of them. I know. Look good Goombas. Yeah, he was my favorite teacher ever. It was just, it was, it was all around, all around good time. Going on that hallway. Why didn't you go down that hallway? Because I wanted that, apparently. No. Because <laughs> I wanted that, apparently. This is cool. Yeah, level. it was... It was a great time. Photography electives like that. Oh, I love doing electives like that. Oh no! The big ass booze. What? Just kill him. Where's this door go? Oh no! Sweet. Snap. Probably supposed to go around them. Yeah, if you shine your light on them, they die. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's this door? What's this door over here where you go through and just resets the whole entire level? <laughs> huh? Cleared course in four touches. Yeah, I didn't do that because I got all the extra shit. Here's, Here's a, a quick, quick tip. tip. Wait, you can touch to turn the book pages one by one. Or you can also touch the edge of a specific Like page. this one? Oh, that's kind of easy. That's kind of cool. Yeah, but like, what the fuck kind of accuracy are you going to have with that? <laughs> oh, true. Blizzard on the Star Express. You need four, You need 30. I got 48 of them. Boom. Ooh. Good thing we've been collecting them all this whole time. I feel like this level was a pain in my ass. This is the level I remember from like, watching speedruns and stuff. This is the level I remember. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yeah, because you like go all the way to the end of the train and then come all the way back. Yes. Yeah. And it's like the coolest level because it's like, it just kind of is. Yeah. Boom. So what kind of weird electives did you take in high school? Um, let's see. Well, I, I can't say weird because photography is not a weird elective. But basically the electives I took. When I was a freshman, because like our school did a lot of like post-secondary with like colleges and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I took multimedia and game design, which AKA was learn how to use Flash and you're gonna make an animation, kind of. Okay. Your final project's gonna be an animation video that you're just gonna like, the teacher's gonna watch. And you could add like buttons and stuff to like make it actually an interactive page. Could never figure out how to do it. <laughs> so I just played through on a video. Cause that was also fine. <laughs> Cause I did it on Portal 2. Cause there's supposed to be no words, mostly just images. <laughs> Okay. Just to show that you know how to like animate it and all that stuff, and at least in some sense. <laughs> toot toot! Um, toot, toot, so I did Portal 2 because I had portals fly in and like get bigger and smaller. So that was really easy. Plus I liked Portal 2 at the time because that's like around the time that came out. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but there was like no game design and it was like, that's how I learned how to use Photoshop the first time. Or like originally. Well yeah, I kind of learned that through, uh... We would call it through um, my photographer. Oh, he's like sleeps on the bed. Oh my god, <laughs> Toad, we got shit to do. He's like, no, I'm taking a nap with my no, head through the to, wall. Oh god, oh god, don't see me. Oh, it's like Metal Gear Solid. How do I get to that? Uh, from the outside, maybe. Shit. The I don't shit. know. I don't know if you can do that. Uh, no, I can. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Touch him. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you can't get that from the outside. What? How do you get... The, there's a doorway in there. Oh. <laughs> well, no, you can drop into the, the other side. Oh, you're right. But there's a... I, there's one there, too. Um, I didn't even see the fucking door. I was too busy <laughs> doing other shit. Um, I did that my freshman year. And then... My sophomore year... What did I do my sophomore year? I took, um... Cause I took, it was supposed to be like, I took like biology and chemistry in the same year because when I was in uh, middle school or in eighth grade, I didn't, I could put in the advanced class with all of my friends, even though I was in every other advanced class and I was, up to, I was in every science class before that, the advanced ones. So I didn't know why. So I took them both in the same year. Okay. And it was with all of my friends because we were like, this is, um, this is stupid. And then I took physics. I didn't take a science class my senior year. That was really the end goal. Not to have to take science. Yeah, my I senior. Like science. Plus thing is, my senior year, the only class I actually had to take was English. Pretty much, so much how I was. And then even same thing is with uh, 
there's something hidden behind those blocks. I know. Feet. I'm trying to think about how to get how you're supposed to. You can't just touch them. And they just oh wow. Oh yeah. Didn't know that was a thing. Um. Bam. I missed the first one. Shit. Oh yeah, we did. Where where was the first one? At? I don't know. Where we missed it at? Unless if they're gonna count if we have to go all the way back, are they gonna count the fact that if it's back there is the first? Um, uh, maybe. I don't know about that though. Well, we don't we don't go all the way back. The star is right there. Oh hey, you're supposed to use this. I'm gonna assume. But you can just touch it. But apparently you can just touch it and do it. So. Yeah, cause first one this is like the first train car. Oh okay. Um. So I don't know. I don't know. Unless Where'd it's we... this one right here. No. Where did we miss it? It had to be something on like the upper part. We'll grab the star, and, like we'll say, we'll start from the beginning again because like any of this other stuff we know. Yeah, that's weird. Um. I don't think we need to collect all of them for anything special. No. But it's fun to do. Oh, apparently we got the bird. <laughs> Birdie, bird, bird. <laughs> I'm a burb. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was a thing. All right. That was a thing that happened. Ding ding. Oh, you, you collected the one up mushroom though. Well, that's good. Baller. Operation Rescue Toadette. Oh, it's the last level. Supposedly. I'm pretty sure it is. All right. Well, then Wingo's Watchtower. <laughs> then we'll have to go back in. If this is the last level, we'll have to go back in and get that last thing, man. I'll just cut it and put that first. So that it's not anticlimactic. <laughs> Look at that bird. I know. Look at Why didn't Toto just let go? Because she has to get the the shine not the shine sprite <laughs> the power star. <laughs> but if the power star, she should be all beefed up because she's touching it. No, because the bird has it. I guess. But she's also touching it. Listen, Aren't I don't. Are they sharing the power? I don't make the rules. Is he an asshole and doesn't share? Yeah. Look at him. Her. Okay, it. Her. It. Yeah. Oh, look at all the coins, dude. Yeah. I think you're supposed to be in there to like knock it. Oh, but you, you're not affected by wind pressure. Uh, oh, you hit him. Apparently that's the thing. Oh, kill him. Oh, hello. Like this. It's a magic bird. It is a magic bird. Look at him teleport. You know, he could just fly around, but now he's got to teleport. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you just go ahead and blow me. Fine. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just blow me, dude. Uh, so now you have to go up there and climb up. Yeah. But I also have to go find out what's in all these plants over here. <laughs> we don't have to. No, I have to. No, you don't understand. I'll physically die if no, I don't listen. check. I played an indie game recently, and... Right. It'll be. It'll probably be out. It's the one where it's like the night is darkening or whatever. Uh, I don't think I watched that one yet. No, it's not out. But I, like, play, I showed you like it on like the page. Oh and stuff. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I really like the art style. Oh of it. yeah, I know because it looks awesome. Um. And I was like going around, and there's like all this like dead space just around the area. And I was like, oh well, I have to explore it. And there's like nothing, but I'm like, no, I have to explore it. Like I, it, I need. I have a physical need. <laughs> You understand, if I don't do it, I die. Yeah, I'm like, if I don't do this, I'm gonna be really depressed about it that I didn't do it. No! Ah! <laughs> Toad just barely manages to survive. But yeah, like, Dark Souls... Fuck. Yeah! But like, Dark Souls has ruined me as a game. Because, like, there's so much, sh like, hidden shit. It's so, like, I have yeah. to explore. Like, it, I need it. <laughs> I need it! And then I hate to say that you come across certain games like even Breath of the Wild where it's just like there's uh, just so much stuff everywhere. Get the guy, you think you Oh god! Yeah! Alright, well. I'll just stand here. This is kind of interesting to watch, actually. <laughs> just watch me get like completely. It is better viewing. This is better for viewing. I mean, I guess, but sometimes I, th I feel like having this, like, outward, you can really see everything that's going on. That's true. It's appealing to me, at least, like, that way. I just shoo, know shoo, it's shoo. easier. I really think it's mostly if you're just, like, actually just playing on, like, the gamepad and stuff, it's like... Probably. You can see better. 
Alright, so he needs to come over this way to blow those. Yep. I might have to take that. There's blocks there yeah. so you can climb. But then my question is, when he does that, how do you... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I wonder if you're on the ladder on. Okay. Is there more to this? No. No. I so think yeah, I think you have to be like on, on the, ladder the ladder here. And he blows. Yeah. Then he blows me back, and I can climb up it. Yeah. But you have to be like fast when he comes over the other direction to climb up. Yeah. Then fast I'm, boy. Then there, yeah. Look at that. He's gonna come this way. Are you skipped it? Oh, because you're at the last little bit. You have to... Oh, this way. Yeah, you're at the last little bit here, it looks like. Oh, because normally you'd climb up and over, but because you could just yeah. go do that. You could just blow me off now and I'd be dead. Or you could, like, attack me. Woo! No, I'll just go in this cannon pipe. Patoo! <gasps> oh, I got this gold! Look at the gold! I did it! I beat the game! Fuck you, Toadette. Oh! Out. I want... Okay. Yeah, what's up? Oh, jeez. Are you supposed to do touch those? I don't know. Oh, they drop oh gigantic things. Oh my god. Oh, dude, you really have to, you really have to hoof those. Oh my god! Um, so I don't know how, how up you are on your legend. Bitcha! This bullshit. Oh, he said, bitcha, what? Um, yeah, I don't know how up you are like in your in, in playing the Legend of Zelda games or anything like that, but you've never played Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. No. Okay. I never really played the Game Boy ones. They're the only ones that I've, like, unfortunately have missed. Okay. So, in Link's Awakening, Shit. the final, I'm gonna say, tower that you can go to, which is supposed to be, you know how, like, Dungeon 8 and, like, Bre or Link of the Past is, like, Turtle Rock or whatever? Yeah. Um, it's kind of the same thing. Like, Turtle Rock is, like, in the mountains or whatever is the last area. But you fight this like skull guy. And I forget what if they act what his name actually is. If they, if they just call him Skull Guy or whatever it is, or he has a name, I forget. But like he follows you around, kind of like making fun of you or poking fun at you or something like that, and like how inept that you are or something the whole entire game. Yeah. And you get to the final thing, and you when you fight, it's on a tower, and it's him, and he's being carried by a gigantic like rock, like a big bird, like this. Yeah. And then, like, I see this, and it's just like, wow, this is, like, a, a serious throwback to, like, for me to, like, look at this. Like, that's the first thing I think of, is, like, this is very reminiscent, because all the bird pretty much does. Oh, you're so I got freaking lucky. I'm pretty sure, like, just because I had thrown it, I was in danger, but I'm pretty sure if it hits what I was holding, it just breaks it. Yeah. But, yeah, no. <laughs> but, uh, he just, like... He's being held by, like, the rock, and they just, like, swoop, and then he tries to, like, do these dive attacks and just swoops at you, and he, like, tries to blow you off the tower, and if he blows you off the tower, you fall down, and you have to recline the last little bit of it yeah. to, like, redo the fight. And that's just kind of what that reminds me of, and, like, I don't know if that was intentional or anything, but, like... Maybe a little bit. Or whoever designed this had no idea about that. Probably, I have no the same group of people. Uh, no, probably not. I'm a little toad. Yeah! Look how adorable I am. You. <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at that. That was nice. Isn't that a nice Is little it over? happy ending? Is it over? No, oh, we got this final whatever this is. Yeah, let's go in the turnip cart. It'd just be funny. Toad gets in and just starts taking off without <laughs> Toad. At. See ya! She's like, no, wait up, dude! Oh, just, yeah, it's just credits. It's just credits? Yeah. Okay. So anyways... How'd you enjoy Captain Toad? Oh, it was wonderful, dude. Wasn't this a nice little game? It was. And it was like an hour worth of filming. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. this was a $40 game when it came out. <laughs> and it's an hour long. But now, like, my question is, is, like, when it's all done, is there, like, anything, like, for extra challenges? I mean, I don't or remember. Else that comes I can't that skip this. Unlock after. So we're gonna find out. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, dude. Life. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these Yoshida and Yoshida and Yamashida and Yamashida. Okay. Yokata, Yoshida, Yoshida. Look at the Nintendo of America staff, David Lopez. Stacy Detto. Yeah. Erica Weber. You have that French name, Milleru Taran. And Frenchmen! Frenchmen. 
Villar, Rosa, Scafia. Look, Shepard. <laughs> more people that. More Special Yama, thanks! Kano, Sasamoto, Saito, Shimizu. So, my question is like, for like a AAA published title like this. Like, Look! What? It's the executive producer. Satoru Awada? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Um. That was yay! Short, that was short crap. I guess it wasn't a very long game to have a bunch of people <laughs> on. My question is, is on that is for a triple A game like this, what do you have to do to get your name into like the special thanks section of the thing? I don't know. Collect seventy coins. You know what we have to do now? We have to get the one last gem we missed. Move on. Or they just take it away from you. Episode two Oh snap! Thanks for taking me to the title screen. So much more, dude! Oh, wait, maybe I do remember this. There is so much more. Wow. Next time, we'll find out what episode two is. <laughs> Woo! I don't remember episode two existed. Yeah, but it's a thing. It's here. We're doing it. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>